I'm Sasha Salinger with all your news from yesterday, which was day four of the 2019 World Series of Poker. First up, the 1500 Omaha 8 or better played down to seven players. Those seven players return today at noon to play down to a winner. The winner will take home $228,228, which, fun number. <laughs> That event had a total of 853 entries. There are seven who remain, including bracelet winner John Esposito, Jason Burlgen, three-time bracelet winner Ben Yu, Derek McMaster, David Halpern, and Tom McCormick, who will now have made 17 WSOP final tables. We are also getting short in the 50K High Roller event. With 110 entries, only 12 players remain. All players are in the money with a guaranteed payout of $101,604. Now, that may seem like a big number, but remember, this was a re-entry event, so many of the players are in for $100,000. Of course, the big payday is the first place prize of $1,484,085. Play resumed behind me just after 2 p.m., and Ben Heath came into day three as the chip leader. They'll play down to six players today, and those six players will return to play down to a winner tomorrow at noon, live on the Poker Go stream. The 2500 Limit Mixed Triple Draw event commenced yesterday with 296 total entries. 114 players made it through the day, including chip leader Jake Schwartz. Not far behind him was Julian Martini, Brandon Jack Harris, Benny Glazer, and 2018 WSOP Player of the Year, Sean Deeb, who was actually multi-tabling with day 1C of the Big 50 tournament, and he made day two of that tournament as well. Speaking of the Big 50 tournament, Sean Deeb was one of several players to advance from day 1C to day 2C. Day 1C was played yesterday, and some others who advanced with him include main event champion Jamie Gold and Alan Kessler. Now while day 1C was being played, day 2B was also being played by those players who advanced from day 1B. It was 321 players that advanced from day 2B to day 3, including Jason Wheeler, Ludo Gellick, Kyle Julius, and Chris Ferguson. They will join the 316 players who advanced from day 2A to day 3 as well. Now remember, Day 2A, Day 2B, Day 2C, and Day 2D of this event will all join together on Wednesday, June 5th for a combined Day 3. Today is 1D of the Big 50, which is the last day and last chance to enter what has now been confirmed as the biggest poker tournament in history. Late registration will be open until the end of the dinner break, which has been pushed back from the end of level 8 to the end of level 10 today, around 8.55 p.m. Now, we don't have the final numbers for you yet, but we imagine we're going to have over 26,000 entries in this tournament. Once we have those final numbers for you, of course we will have them at pokernews.com and also this lucky winner that will go home with $1 million.